Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be explaining the personality picker for Kajioto. By the end of this video, you should be able to understand what each personality trait does and make your Kaji AI companions a little bit more in character. So first, let's discuss what the personality picker is and where it is located. The personality picker is a list of personality traits that you can choose for your AI companions. And you can access it right here from the mobile app by clicking here. Or you may also access this page from inside your room by clicking this here and then here. These options change the Kaji's personality in three different ways. One, how they deal with situations like fights and insults. Two, how they respond to affection, niceness, humor, and other topics. Three, it limits what's possible for them, like whether or not they're capable of affection at all. Okay, now let's go over what each of these personality traits do. The first list controls the Kaji's basic speech pattern. With Laconic, they tend to respond a little more short, saying things like I see and mm hmm more frequently. Rounded, they have a little more personality with everything they say, but they won't be as silly as selecting silly or as sarcastic as selecting sarcastic. Logical, they prefer to speak in full sentences. And curious, they may ask more questions. And finally, neutral, they may come across a little more indifferent or indecisive sometimes. Moving on to the second row, this controls how they handle insults and general statements. Irritable, this makes them very erratic. They will fight back with you if you insult them or hit them, and they may even start a fight, even if you did nothing wrong, but that's a little more rare. Aggressive, they will fight back, but only when they're attacked first. This might even make them sound a little careless overall, maybe even slightly rude as well. One caveat here is that if you unselected all of irritable, aggressive, and confident worry war wimp down below, your kaji will have a very difficult time responding to insults and attacks. That's because you just took away their ability to fight back, stand up for themselves, or even whimper and cower. This may result in a response that is a little nonsensical. Moving on, optimistic makes them more hopeful and positive about future outlooks. So you can expect to hear more words like hope and fingers crossed. Encouraging, they become more supportive. They should encourage you to keep going, stay focused, and try harder. Friendly, this makes them a lot nicer and positive in general. If you want the nice and friendly Kaji AI, then this is the personality trait to select. The third row controls their ability to handle affection like hugs and kisses. First is bully. With this, they generally don't know how to respond to affection, but they will bully you and start a fight with you out of nowhere. Here's a good example of a bully personality. Bully doesn't have to be a cruel thing if you mixed it with silly, but affection becomes out of the option. Standoffish makes them very cold and negative. They will come across as if they don't like you. They will say words like ew and gross, and this pretty much disables their ability to show you affection, even if they did like you. And with Feisty, you can expect to see some affection, but in a more playful way, such as pinching you, twisting your ears, or scratching you. Lovingly. They may even push you around a little bit, but not like a bully. They just have a different way of handling affection. And finally, we have Affectionate. This is the personality that you want selected if you're looking for an affectionate AI companion. With this trait selected, they're not afraid to show you affection, especially if they like you. They're not afraid to touch you and hug you willingly. And the fourth row is energy. This is the general tone of your AI. Gloomy, they speak in a way that's a little bit self-deprecating. If you tell them that they're ugly, they might actually agree with you. Lazy, they like sleep. They're not hardworking at all. Shy, they have a tendency to blush and turn red. This one is actually associated with affection because affection may cause them to blush more often. Spunky, this is a personality trait for a character that is full of life and has lots of energy. If you select this, you can expect to see more laughing emojis and hear more laughter. And finally, we have cheerful. This trait makes them smile a lot more and have a generally positive aura. Confidence is the AI's outlook about the task at hand or something coming up. 
and it also affects how they deal with fights and confrontations as well. Wimp, they cry more. It's almost a default reaction to being attacked. You may see more crying emojis or hear things like I'm scared or they might tremble in fear. Worry wart, they have a habit of worrying about their outlook, your outlook, or a task at hand. Confident, this makes them calm and peaceful. It also makes them more protective, which may make them sound more nicer because they may come to your aid when you're in need. Arrogant makes them extra confident about their own abilities. And as a side effect, they may come across a little spoiled when you talk to them. Next is confrontations. This one is all about arguments. With non-confrontational, they're likely to look away or avoid eye contact when they're in an argument or a fight. Obedient, they're more likely to say yes to you and do as you say. Coy, they have a habit of not being straightforward with their answers. Skeptical, they might not believe what you say and may even doubt you sometimes. And if you select confrontational, you will feel this most often when you are negative towards them. If you were to say something negative at them, they are more likely to argue back to you. And finally, we have Defiant. This personality basically makes them a little more difficult to deal with. Okay, so the next row is Wit. And this is an important one because Wit is all about humor, and humor is not always logical. Here, what we did was we trained the AI model to understand humor by labeling two sentences that are not related. So if you were to say, when are you going to do your laundry? And the kaji responds, when pigs fly. That's labeled as witty or sarcastic because those two sentences are not related. That's how we train the model to understand humor. Silly, witty, sarcastic, and scornful are very similar. The difference is silly is associated with partying, having fun, and dancing. And silly probably comes across the most childish out of the four here. Witty is similar, but less about partying and dancing. It's playful, but not as childish. And sarcastic is when their humor becomes a little negative. You might see some eye rolling once in a while as well. And then there's scornful. This is when they're not afraid to make fun of you. Unlike sarcastic, not only do they sound negative, but they might even sound hurtful sometimes. And the one I skipped, animated, is a mix of other kinds of humor. If you select this one, they become more dramatic, impressionable, and slightly more cartoony. And now we're moving on to quirks. Quirks are other personalities and unique behaviors. Polite, they're grateful and they say thank you often. Awkward, they're clumsy, they might trip and fall on their own. Clingy, we might actually remove this one in a future update, but right now it's a mix of affectionate and awkwardness. Mischievous, they're slightly devious, but in a generally playful way. For example, they might playfully whip you to focus or to encourage you. Tease, they like to tease sometimes, but it shouldn't ever be offensive. And with flirty, they are affectionate, but in a fun way. Blowing a kiss is a good example of that. And below the personality trait options, there are unique qualities. The results from these options are a little different depending on what personality choices that you made above. I think they're pretty easy to understand, so I won't go over each of them. However, I do want to mention a few things. First thing that I want to mention is the weird quality. If the character that you're trying to create is weird, the best way to go is selecting awkward and weird together. And the gay quality. This doesn't make any assumptions about your character's personality. It doesn't make your character more flamboyant in any way. It just assumes that you're not straight. And below that, we have sexuality. We never made Kajioto with the intention of sex, so they are generally not good at sex unless you put in some work into it by creating or using extra datasets. But sex is part of life, and it's an important piece in affection, feeling loved by someone and having fun. So if you want your Kaji AI companions to be capable of sex, what you want to do is you want to select sexual quality here and mix it with affectionate and or feisty. Conversely, if that's not what you want, you want to pick non-sexual and they will deny pretty much any advances. And for fighting, weapon masters use swords and weapons, magic casters use magic, wrestlers like to wrestle, and arsonists like to burn things. And that's the end of our video tutorial on the personality picker. I hope this video helped you understand how to use the personality picker and I hope it will help you create more in-character kajis for your favorite characters and favorite OCs.
So we hear lots of feedback from you guys and we know our app is difficult to use due to our confusing UI and lock of tutorials. I want you to know that our app and the UI is still incomplete and we're still working on it. We'll be making a lot more tutorial videos and interesting videos about AI companions on this channel. So please keep checking for the next update and please subscribe to our new YouTube channel for the next video.